Welcome back everyone, this is Jennifer and today um, I wanted to share with you uh, something I'm creating for my March 2021 setup. Um, this is the Treetop Canopy Collection from Coco Daisy. You can see I have my notebook and I'm starting to add some things, but I wanted a place to store some of my stickers and one of the papers that came in the main planner kit is this gorgeous large piece. Um, the print is really big and bold. It's a big pattern, so I really didn't want to cut it down. And the artwork is by Linus Potts, and this is the other side. And I thought this would be perfect to make into a sticker pocket with some of the other elements from the kits um, to hold the stickers. And let me grab... Those are the small sheets. Let me grab the bigger sheets. You can see that they're easily gonna going to fit into this. So I'm going to put this in a piece of lamination. Um, I trimmed it down a little bit. These are eight and a half by 11 sheets. I just used the Scotch brand from Walmart and my laminator is a Scotch brand. And so I'm gonna put that in there just like this and run that through my laminator. Okay, now that I have that ran through the laminator, you need to decide which side you want the opening of your sticker pocket to be. Um, this side was the folded side of the paper, so obviously I can't choose that side. Um, typically, I would probably cut this side open and make it like a side loading pocket, um, but I'm gonna mix things up a little bit this month and make this a vertical loading um, pocket. So I'm gonna open this top part up. So on these three sides that I don't want to be open, I'm going to trim down the lamination and just make sure that I don't cut too close to the paper because if you do, your lamination is just going to um, open up and you won't have a sealed pocket anymore. And I try to put about a quarter of an inch of lamination on the outside edge and I just eyeball it. It's not perfect and I use this guillotine paper cutter. <laughs> So I trimmed that side down. The bottom doesn't need much trimming. And this side doesn't need much either because I put that really close to the edge on the lamination. And then for this top part that I want to be open, I'm gonna cut into the paper just a little bit. And then you'll see that that's going to open from the top. And I like to run this through the laminator um, one more time after I have the edges cut, um, just to make sure it has a good seal. So I'm gonna go do that and then we'll be back to decorate. Okay, I ran that through the laminator one more time and it's nice and sealed. And I'm gonna do a little extra step here. Um, it's just a personal preference. I like the edges of my lamination to be rounded and I use this We Are Memory Keepers Cropodile Corner Chomper. It has a half inch setting and a quarter inch setting to round your corners. And I prefer the quarter inch. And this just kind of keeps the corners rounded. Um, so when you're like putting it in and out of your tote bag, you're not like stabbing yourself um, with the sharp edges of the paper. Okay, so I have those rounded. And then next you're gonna wanna decide um, which part you want to be the front and which part you want to be the back. And so I'm gonna play around a little bit with my other elements um, that I grabbed. I thought about using one of these large um, embroidery patches, embroidered patches on there and I wanted to add maybe like this larger sticker pocket to hold the smaller sheets on the front. So it definitely fits in that pouch. It's not gonna fit in this one and too big for that one too. So it looks like I'm gonna be using this. And then I also grabbed my glitter enamel dots um, to use for some decoration. And then I was also thinking it might be cute to decorate the mini dory and stick that in 
this adhesive rather than the small sticker. So we'll have to see. You could also do that with the notepad. It would fit as well. So here's the question. Do we want this cute little llama to be on the front and add this guy up here? Or do we want the sloth to be the front to match with the sloths. And I think I'm gonna go with this as my front. So I'm just gonna peel this off and it's already an adhesive. And I'm gonna put that on there. And I like how that blends in. That looks really nice with the extra sloth and think outside the box. And then we need to decide if we wanna add an embroidery patch. And I'm thinking, I don't know. It's a hard decision when they're all so cute. I might add him up there for a little bit of dimension to the paper. And nope, I don't like that. So I think I'm going to go with this little guy up in the corner. And these have an adhesive back as well, so I'm just peeling that off, and we'll put him up here in the corner, and then just to make sure, we will go ahead and put our smaller stickers Put those up front, make sure they all fit. Get that little paper out of the way. Get that small sheet. And then I did grab all of my larger sheets, including the rub ons. I'll get those stacked up and make sure they slide in. And then I think we'll add some of the enamel glitter dots just here and there, kind of random. Um, use a little teeny tiny pink one here on the flower center on both of those. And then we'll do some of the larger ones maybe kind of look like those dew drops. And then some smaller ones down here. And I think that that is good for the front. And then maybe we'll look at the back here and see if one of these smaller pockets could be used to hold this. At least a few sheets of the notebook paper. I like to have those kind of handy. It's not gonna fit in that one. I like to have these handy to jot down like grocery lists and stuff on the go. Hmm. would be cute. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this guy down here and then I can have some of my notebook paper handy on the back. So that is it. That is my vertical sticker pocket for the month of March using the treetop canopy elements. If you guys have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks so much for watching and happy crafting.